President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and his Eritrean counterpart, Isaias Afwaki, have backed the federal government of Somalia after weeks of uncertainty, with Ethiopia signing an agreement with Somaliland without following protocols. The agreement, if implemented fully, will see Ethiopia getting 20 kilometers of the Red Sea in exchange for recognition of Somaliland as a sovereign state. Ethiopia wants to establish a military base and port in Somalia. On Saturday in Cairo, the two leaders insisted that they will work closely with President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed to safeguard Somalia's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Somalia has accused Ethiopia of annexation, a claim that Addis Ababa refutes. The two presidents agreed on the importance of respecting the sovereignty of Somalia and supporting its rejection of any measures that would undermine its sovereignty. They also stressed the importance of continued joint work between Egypt and Eritrea, Egypt state media reports. Besides Somalia's sovereignty and territorial integrity, the two leaders also discussed strengthening bilateral relations in the economic, trade, and security spheres, developments in the Red Sea, and the situation in Sudan. The government of Ethiopia, under Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, has been accused of destabilizing the Horn of Africa, an accusation which he has frequently dismissed. According to Abiy Ahmed, his approach is geared towards enabling the region to stabilize economically. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed has been on the run, calling for support in the impending conflict with Ethiopia. On Friday, the Somali leader insisted the country is ready to face Ethiopia should it proceed with plans to implement the agreement with Somaliland. 